Good morning! Do you know, I always leave these blinds wide open because if they are closed, I literally will never get out of bed. And what time actually is it? I literally just checked the time and it was like quarter past, but then I was like trying to force myself back to sleep again. You know when you wake up too early and you don't want to get up that early, so you just try and force yourself back to sleep again? That's exactly what I did. 5.38. It was so weird. During lockdown, I was literally getting up at 7 o'clock and then I thought, oh, I need to start getting up early so I can get to the gym earlier when the gym's actually open. So I started get, getting up at 6. And for some reason, my body clock likes to wake me up about quarter past 5 every single day now. Hmm. So, hi everybody. I hope you're doing okay. I always like to go to the gym early because it gets so busy in there that the workout just becomes really unenjoyable. Can't actually see anything. Oh, hi guys. So that's why I like to get up early and just to get it done. But the gym that I go to is pretty small. It's not one of those massive, massive gyms, so it can get quite crowded quite easily. So I really try to avoid the peak times when everyone's just trying to cram in before work. But yeah, I always seem to go at the wrong times. So I'm gonna get up, make some breakfast. I don't normally like eating at this time because then once I've eaten, I'm so hungry already because I ate so early. So I try to get up and like do other things and then maybe eat breakfast about six o'clock, like earliest. I always have this little routine. I always sit down the night before and plan out my whole day so I know exactly what I'm doing and what I've got to do. I've actually been doing that for the past few years now. I would say about two years. I normally just forgot what I had to do for that day and then I end up not doing it and then you're like, oh, I was supposed to do something but I didn't know what it was. So that is why I've done that. I'm literally a creature of habit. Every morning, I pretty much do the exact same routine. Get out of bed, put the news on, go downstairs, make breakfast, and then just look at the news and everything that is going on in the world. Because I need to know, if you guys don't know, I am joining the army, so I need to know everything military that is going on in the world and all of that. So I watch BBC News for just kind of everyday kind of stuff. Then I put on this news channel called Forces News and look at all of the latest military news that is going on in the world. Uh, problem with doing it with one hand. Yesterday guys, I was brushing my teeth and the whole thing just somehow slipped. I don't even know what I was doing or how it even happened. And it literally cut the whole inside of my gum. It is so sore up there. If I could actually show you guys, you won't be able to see anything. But do you ever do that? It's so painful when it actually happens. I can actually feel my gum like flap. <laughs> Let's get breakfast on. I seriously need to go food shopping, but it's one of those times where I'm just prolonging it because I really don't want to go. We've got milk, skimmed latte every single morning. This is my go-to every single morning. Dorset cereals. And it's been my go-to for about the past month now. And guys, when I like something, I tend to have it pretty much every single day till I'm sick of it. A bit like the peanut butter and toast that I was having. Yeah, those are gone now. <laughs> Coffee. Our alarm going off, it means it's six o'clock. So time to eat, get dressed, get to the gym and get on with the day. Good morning, fishies. <laughs> Look how big this one is. I don't know if you guys can see it just goes blurry but this one here is a sucker fish and I had so many babies well I didn't have so many babies but they did and I had about 10 baby fish in the tank and it was an absolute nightmare because this was when we were in lockdown and it was pretty much difficult to go anywhere complete pain but anyway guys yes I did drop them all off <laughs> finally 
to the pet store and ever since then I've made sure I've only had one or two and if I do have to it's never gonna be a boy again. So we got a bit of soya. Guys, I can never fit my face and everything that I'm doing in it. So it's literally like either one or the other. I always use plastic containers to do my breakfast. I don't even know why. I just think it's because I have more of them than actual bowls. So I just tend to save on the bowls for other things. This is such a good pre-workout because it is so filling. Because it has those spelt flakes, it just is a slow releasing car so you do tend to stay full of longer. Oh my balls! Organic apples and grapes. Gosh, I hope I don't have toothpaste all over my mouth. <laughs> Every time I brush my teeth with that purple toothpaste, I always look in the mirror and I've just got like purple marks. I actually do. I'm sitting here with my ice on my leg. I've had a recent injury. I don't actually know specifically what I have done, but I have done something to my ITB band. So that is the band running down the side of your legs. And for some reason, while I was running, I was just getting pain. And I thought, oh, this is not good. Like I've had an injury kind of knee related injury before. It wasn't even injury, I just had really tight muscles. So I did go to the doctor thinking, oh, I've done something to my leg, but I didn't know really what it was. I hadn't ever had an injury before. Yeah, and it was tight muscles. And this is pretty much the same. My ITB band, gosh, it's gonna be so hard to keep saying that, ITB band, <laughs> is pretty much exactly the same. Tight muscles, I've been doing so much running and that causes the ITB be bend to get really tired and so that's why it has been causing me pain and that is exactly why guys we need to prioritize stretching and mobility work and just looking after our body post workouts i've been doing all of that but i was neglecting my itb band which is why it's come back and bit me in the butt so no running i literally need to be training still for the army and I haven't done any running for over a week, so I just feel like oh, I need to get back to running again, like doing something, like I haven't been moving. I honestly feel like I've just put on weight from not running and not doing as much endurance as I used to do. So yeah, lots of icing. I'm sitting here with my sweet corn. Guys, peas kind of ran out, so we went for the sweet corn. Been doing this about three to four times a day for maximum 20 minutes. Lots of foam rolling. I've got the muscle gun, so just been doing all of that, still carrying on with my stretching. And I also have a few exercises like fire hydrants, banded walks, just to try and strengthen up the muscle and get them feeling good so we can get back running again. I never thought I'd actually say that. I actually enjoy running. It's so funny. I think when you actually get good at something or you get more comfortable doing something, like at the start, running was hard not doing running at all it was so hard i think that's why it is unenjoyable so guys this is breakfast muesli i put some grapes in there some apples it's so delicious and filling and i've got my of course my latte there let's put a bit of the news on always has to be bbc let's see what is going on in this world last night was so strange i woke up in the middle of the night i was dreaming about dinosaurs and just being chased by dinosaurs and then when i woke up the program that i was watching was still going ahead i think it was jupiter or something it was like a new series on netflix and I put it on and I fell asleep to it and just the crazy thing happens every time I put on this action movie or just something you know like Jurassic Park or something I always end up dreaming about it because I can hear it in the background it's the most craziest thing do you guys ever get that this is literally why I have to put on Disney every single night like sword in the stone B movie or like something like that because for one I'm actually scared of the dark always have been 
probably always will be. Another reason why I always sleep with the blinds open because I just hate the dark. I don't like sleeping in the silence because then it makes me think that there's like monsters in the house or, you know, my brain starts going like this when I don't hear a bit of movie or just something in the background. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good. Hmm, what to wear? All black? I am literally the least colourful person. All you can see is a bright blue pair standing out. <laughs> Green too. I really need to do a wardrobe clear out and folding session here. I am going with my go-to outfit, which I always pick out when I don't know what to wear. Gymshark. Gotta get my pre-workout subs. What I have every day is creatine big chunky scoop of that and what is the other one alkalutamine and this is tropical flavored and it tastes so good you can get them in all sorts of different flavors but i love the tropical and also it adds some flavor to your water too because the clear powder doesn't taste of anything so that is what i have in my workout water every single day i'm gonna need two hands for this off to the gym I have everything in this massive backpack. I actually just bought it a few days ago, maybe a week ago, and it's so big. It's like, I think it's like 45 litres, but I don't know. But it's absolutely massive, and this is the gym bag that I've been using, so I've got all of my bike stuff, because I'm going to ride my bike to the gym. Water bottle, I've got chalk down there too. It's a bit dark so you guys can't really see and i've got my tripod in there if you're wondering why i got such a big backpack it's because the arm i use the same size and i thought i better get one to get used to wearing and running with and just carrying so yeah just better prepare myself for army training and things like that so yeah let's go work out It's almost 20 past nine. I'm back from the gym. I've had my breakfast. And because I had my breakfast at six, I am now hungry. So I'm gonna show you guys the bag. The bag that I showed you earlier, cause I know you guys probably wanna see inside. So it's absolutely massive. You can fit all sorts of things. I love how it like opens up like this so you can really get inside. It opens up completely fully. And it has all of these pockets. The only problem is I'm one of those people that put something really small inside and then you're spending half an hour just trying to find a small thing because it is such a big bag. But it is really handy to have all of these pockets. So pockets, pockets, this is the back pocket and all sorts of compartments inside there. So this is where I normally put all my gym stuff and my bike stuff. Oh look, I even found a hair clip. So there's three pockets all together. I can't even find the zips. <laughs> and because I am so small, I literally look like a freaking ninja turtle in this. It's just like a smaller pocket, so I've got my side pocket up here. And the smallest is normally where I put my Vaseline. <laughs> and keys and things like that, but there's all sorts of pockets. And here, it's ribbed, I don't even know what to call this. It's like a cagey design, but the whole purpose of it is that you can hook things around it, and that's really cool. And also guys, this is Velcro, so of course I had to buy the Union Jack to go on there. And then you have these water bottle holders, which you can tie up so it doesn't slip out. And you have that on both sides and it's all padded so it comes with the chest straps and the lower straps too these oh my gosh there's so many straps here where do i even look here it is so this goes around your waist the thicker straps and this goes around your chest so you're all nicely supported and the heavy load just doesn't go onto your shoulders because normally when i'm using this backpack down here it's just an everyday basic one i used to always go hiking and running with this and i used to get horrible sore shoulders so yeah guys and if you want to reduce the size because like me you don't have all of that amount of stuff inside you have these straps here 
which keeps it all together. So it's a very handy little bag, well, big bag. coming out of a shower feeling nice and clean so if you guys were wondering doing that cold water I've been trying to do that for about two weeks now actually and slowly I'm trying to build up my tolerance with cold water because cold water is just so good for you if you do it properly I know that you can't just shove yourself in ice cold water and expect yourself to stay in there for like two minutes or something but yeah, it just makes me feel so more refreshed and alert. So I've been trying to have that at the end of my showers. And so far it's been really good. Of course, when you just have a nice hot shower and then you turn the dial to cold, it's quite a shock. But you do actually start to get used to it. And they do say that the cold water starts to feel warm, which I've actually started experiencing even two weeks in. Once your body gets used to the cold water within, I think it's about 15 seconds, I would say, it actually starts to feel warm. But the problem is I've got my hair up like this, and so I can't fully go in. So I'm trying to like move my body around. So the front part of my body is also getting the cold water towards the end of that showery clip that is basically what i was doing i was having a cold shower and i'm at 45 seconds at the moment i started at 30 seconds now i'm on 45 and then next week i'm going to do it for one minute and then just kind of build up for 15 seconds each week and i feel so good for it so guys to finish off this morning routine oh my gosh my spot has got so bad on my forehead i thought i'd show you guys a few of the products that i use so this is the ordinary always think the original for some reason i don't know why just probably similar words or something i use niacinamide and this is a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula i've actually been using all of these for the past few months i'll say about two to three months i really wanted to get a good skin routine going on and just looking after my skin because i was just one of those people that just never took care of their skin literally just shoved on moisturizer and that was it i wanted something to really help with the spots because i was constantly wearing face masks and it just made my face so full of spots all of the time and you know when you're constantly sweating in your mask and your face just starts to feel sore and that's when you know your spots are going to come up that's exactly what happened to me and my face was just constantly full of spots on my chin and my t-zone is quite oily and things like that so i wanted something to help with that and this is when i got the i really hate saying this word niacinamide I put it all in my t-zones it's literally one of those droplet bottles and you need the tiniest amount it's literally a pea size like that and I always put it on my chin and my nose I really should have taken my glasses off for this this is the high strength vitamin C I've been really loving this it gives you such a nice glow but I do tend to wear this at night time Oh my gosh, there is a spider on my floor. Thank goodness it's tiny. It's like a, one of those mini spiders. Ah, it's just stopped because it thinks I'm going to hurt it. Oh my gosh, it's one of those really small jumpy ones. I'll just let it run free and it can just find itself a home somewhere. Just not in my bed, preferably. So the next product I have is Hyaluric Acid. This is a newest one, actually. I've been using this probably for about a month. I really wanted something to help with my dry skin because I felt like my face was just dry and not moisturized so the hyaluric acid helps to lock in moisture i have seen a difference in my skin with all of the products my skin feels so much smoother clearer and i don't feel like i get so oily i used to always get so oily in my t-zones these are the small bottles i've actually bought new bottles but the larger size because I wanted to get the smaller size just in case I didn't like it or my skin didn't agree with it. The thing that I would say about the Nyamisa is that I can't put it on my forehead. I did for the past few days, which is why I've got all these bumps on my forehead now. So I tend to just leave it for the bottom part of my face. And the hyaluric acid, I literally could put this on all day. I put these two products on twice a day, morning and nighttime, vitamin C at nighttime, along with 
a moisturizer which I'll show you guys and I like to pat this one in rather than keep rubbing and dragging my skin everywhere so I've got the Aveeno here this is my favorite moisturizer I've actually tried quite a few and I do have dry skin so I really need a good moisturizer and this one has done the trick this helps to heal very dry skin there is a green bottle which is normal to dry skin and I have used it and it just does not compare to this one my skin feels itchy because it's still dry and it's unscented because I don't want to put loads of chemicals I'm sure there's tons of chemicals in here but not as many chemicals because of it is scented on my skin put it on my face twice a day I really love this moisturizer so that is all of my skincare products I don't like to use tons and tons of unnecessary things on my face because there's so many things on the market thinking my gosh which one do I actually use because there's so many benefits to so many different products but these are the ones that I am using at the moment and I have been loving them so guys that is my morning routine my workout and breakfast and everything like that so I hope you have enjoyed and I love you lots and I'll see you guys soon